Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss two stack PDA. So here PDA means the push down automata. Generally, the push down automata contains one stack. Generally, the push down automata contains only one stack. But in this session, we will move to two stack. Before going to this one, what is the reason? That is, what is the problem of PDA with one stack? For example, consider L is equal to A power N, B power N, C power N. Assume you have to accept this language by using push down automata. What is the procedure? Whenever A occurred, for example, AA, BB, CC for N is equal to 2. For a single A, we are pushing 2S. Assume this is a stack. My procedure is very simple. Whenever A occurred, I am pushing 2s into the stack. Suppose next to a occurred, I am pushing 2s into the stack. If b occurred, for each b, perform pop operation. One a is eliminated. Second b, perform pop operation. C, pop operation. C, pop operation. That means we have an equal number of a's and equal number of b's. But this is completely our assumption. For example, if you have a string a, a, b, c, c. Again, the same procedure, 1A, we are pushing 2As. So, for the second one, again push. Whenever the next character other than A occurred, what you are doing? Other than A occurred, pop A. Next to C occurred, pop A. Next to C occurred, pop A. Next to C occurred, pop A. Now, the stack is empty. That means this string is also accepted. If you are using one stack, it accepts this string. That is not a problem. It accepts this string also. But according to the question, we have equal number of A's and equal number of B's. Got the point? That is the reason it is not possible to accept some grammars. In the simple sense, this is a not a context-free language. Only context-free languages are accepted by the pushdown automata with one stack. And remember that the given language is not a context-free language, so it is not possible to accept. First, to, before going to example, first we will discuss the tuple representation, Q, sigma, delta, Q0, F, some lambda. Everyone know? Q is the set of states, sigma is the input alphabet, delta is the transition function, Q0 is initial state, F is the final state, and lambda is stack symbol. Lambda is the stack symbol. So generally, what is the transition in pushdown automata with one stack Q on set of states with all input symbols, including epsilon, and we are considering a stack also. That is set of states, input symbols, and consider the stack also. Moves to Q comma, in the sense Q star, sigma star. Q star in the sense Q cross. That is for all the states with all combination of input symbols. This is the pushdown automata with one stack. But our question is, the push down automata with two stacks. So, what is the function Q cross sigma union epsilon cross? This is for the first stack. This is for the second stack. Similarly, Q cross sigma star sigma star. This is our required thing. The remaining thing is common. The only push is this is the additional thing. Now, what is the advantage of two stack PDA? it can access more languages or more grammars compared to one stack PDA. That means, that means it has more strength, increasing strength by adding an extra stack. One more thing is generally, if we are using PDA, means by default it is one stack. In this deterministic pushdown automata is different from non-deterministic pushdown automata. That means deterministic pushdown automata and non-deterministic pushdown automata have different powers. But a pushdown automata with two stacks. In this, both deterministic pushdown automata and non-deterministic pushdown automata both have the same computation power. Both have same computation power. General sense, 
a push down automata with two stacks is generally called as a turing machine turing machine that means a turing machine can accept the languages that are not accepted by push down automata with one stack that are not accepted by the push down automata with one stack this is the introduction now how this moves suppose we are constructing a push down automata how we are moving from one state to another state it mainly depends on that means what is the thing the moves the moves from one point to another point mainly depends on the stack first to the first thing is the state state of finite control next to the input symbol what is the third one the third one is obviously the stack symbol we have to consider each and everything that is the state input symbol and stack for example this is the input tape here the input tape contains all the symbols assume this is the tape head this is the state finite state control this is the finite state control assume this is one stack assume this is another stack stack 1 stack 2 okay this is the way we are moving from one state to another state one state to another state now consider an example of this two stack pda l is equal to same example a power n b power n c power n such that n greater than or equal to 1 for our convenience so what is l a b c this is one string a a b b c c this is another string a a a b b b c c c this is another string this is here i am using the procedure first i will explain the procedure then it is very easy in this we have to use two stacks assume s1 and s2 i am using two stacks the procedure is whenever a occurs whenever a occurred push into stack 1 a occurred push into stack 1 no operation is performed on stack 2 whenever so this is the first step a occurs simply push into stack 1 and no operation is performed on stack 2 now second one is whenever b occurs whenever b occurs simply pop from stack 1 that means pop symbol a from stack 1 at the same time push b into stack 2 pop a from s1 push b into stack 2 and in the third step whenever c occurs simply pop b from stack 2 you got the point a occurs push into stack 1 b occurs pop a from stack 1 and b is pushed into the stack 2 and c occurs simply pop b from stack 2 this is the procedure so initially i am at state q not now now observe the pattern this is the tuple what are the three parameters here we are writing the input symbol for example on q not if the input symbol is a in each and every case we have to consider two cases what is the top of the stack and you have to insert for example initially the top of the stack is epsilon and assume initially the top of the stack does not contain anything for example if you are using a variable z0 and z1 like this top of the stack here initial of epsilon you can write z0 that is the simple thing suppose in my thing initially the top of the stack is empty epsilon then what to do consider this example it is very easy then push a the first thing is push a this is stack 1 remember this is stack 1 the first parameter specifies the top of the element the second parameter specifies either push operation or pop operation if you have a symbol means we are performing push operation if you have epsilon means we are performing pop operation this is stack 1 what about stack 2 initially stack 2 is empty and we are not performing any operation now what is 
a is inserted for the first step for the first character a is inserted according to this one for example here there is not only single a we have any number of a's for example if the second symbol is also again a then what to do the only blind procedure is whenever a occurred push into the stack so input symbol is a if the input symbol is a what is the top of the stack so in the first time the top of the stack is epsilon if at least one a is inserted already the top of the stack is a now simply you can insert a simply we can push a into the stack and don't consider the second stack okay this is stack 2 don't consider the second stack in the first one is called first to top of the stack second one is called push now so if any number of a's occurred simply perform the same operation for example the second a we are performing push operation for example you have one more a what is the thing the input is a the input is a top of the stack is a push a into the stack for any number of a's the same process for example if the input is b if the input is b what is our procedure the procedure is if the top of the stack one is a then what to do simply perform pop operation so if the top of the stack is a so pop operation is represented simply epsilon the meaning is a is the top of the stack and we are performing pop operation now that means this a is removed then what to do b is pushed into the stack now initially is the top of the stack is epsilon if you are pushing b so b is placed into the stack if you are pushing b is placed into the stack now on state q1 suppose not only a single b you have any number of b's also for example if you have another b occurred then what to do the top of the stack another b in the sense the top of the stack is already b the top of the stack is already b now in this we have to pop a from the stack one the same procedure if the top of stack one is a perform pop operation the top of the stack is already b perform push operation on the b similarly similarly if the input symbol for single b we are moving into q1 at q1 if you have any number of b simply the b is inserted and we are popping the a if the input symbol is c assume if the input symbol is c and if the top of stack one is in this case there is no use of any stack one and top of stack two is b then what to do simply perform pop operation pop operation that says you can write epsilon you can write epsilon move to some state q2 in state q2 the same thing if the top of the symbol suppose if the input symbol is a c and the top of the stack one is always epsilon and the top of the stack two is b simply what to do b in the sense you can perform epsilon the b is removed epsilon okay so this is the way to construct a two stack pda for the language l is equal to a power n b power n and c power n okay thank you